soul will be mine forever! For all things Halloween, this is Hauntformer, and welcome to another Spirit Halloween sneak peek. Today, we are talking about the Harvester of Souls. But before I jump into this animatronic, I just want to say that Spirit Halloween has been secretly uploading animatronics to their website and not posting them on YouTube, so a lot of people may not even know about them, uh, including... Props like Mr. Salty, The Hauntress, Ellie Hatchet, and there's a few other ones and some really sucky ones that I want to talk about. <coughs> Angeline! But regardless, um, today we're talking about the Harvester of Souls. And I'm going to do a separate video, I think, on those online ones that you may not have noticed. Some of them actually are going to be in stores, some of them online. It's a little confusing, but we'll get through it when I get there. But let's talk about this animatronic, because this is a fan favorite for this year. The Harvester of Souls, made by Techie Toys of all places. Wow. Or Techie Design, I should say. They've changed their name to sound more official. I like it, Techie Design. Uh, and this animatronic is a 6.2 foot Reaper guy who lifts up this little girl. Her head lifts up and he sucks the soul out of her. There's a really cool element of fog shooting from her face into his mouth. It goes sucks up through it. There's like a fan in there. Uh, it's green fog. And then her head lowers as if she's died. And, ah, uh, poop. Had to kick the camera. And uh, he lowers her as if she died. And that is really technical. And really cool. Uh, I I don't know know what I would do with this animatronic if I got it, which I don't think I would. Um, not because I don't like it, just because I I would find it difficult to put it in a haunted house. But this is really awesome. I want to see this in person really bad. The way that his mouth is opened is really creepy. That he sucks in her soul. I wish. Um, that his mouth may be moved. I feel like this one could benefit from that. But then again, with that that um, fan in his mouth, it would have been hard to do that. So I think they did the right move. And I think the animation is fine for what it is. Very unique stuff. Uh, it overwhelms me with the amount of animatronics we've got this year with really unique animations. It almost makes me wonder why Spirit was holding out on all of this cool stuff. Why not give it, you know in little doses each year instead of dropping all of this. Like, literally, we got Krampus, a Plague Doctor, uh, all of these clowns with the with the eyes and zombies and... Ah, it's a lot. It's a lot to take in. But Harvester of Souls is really cool. I appreciate the work that Techie put in to make this guy feel alive and to give it a story and a character, to have her head lower and have the fog shooting in. This is probably the best use of fog I've seen in an animatronic. It works so well for the sucking of the souls animation. And you wouldn't have thought that they could have pulled this off in a more amateur animatronic, but they did, and it looks cool. I really can see this being a showstopper, something outside or at the end of a haunted house. I'd really be like, whoa, that's neat, depending on how you position it. I like it quite a bit. Harvester of Souls is a really awesome animatronic, and there's so many great ones this year that I'm curious, what's your favorite animatronic from Spirit 2020? But stay tuned, because we're not done yet. There's still some online ones, and I'm holding out, because when I'm recording this, uh, the month isn't over yet, and there still might be time for Spirit to sneak in a few, so we'll see. Thank you for watching. Remember, as always, for all things Halloween, this is Haunt Former.